Hey guys, welcome to Champions Fishing here. Beautiful Saturday afternoon or whenever you're watching this video. Saturday for me, but myself and my brother-in-law John, we're back out here. We're on Douglas Lake right now. Uh, currently, before we launched that here back in this channel, there's about, well, not really a channel, it's a cove. And we're about to three foot of water out here. The damp is kind of dropping off some. But uh, we're gonna go out here, fish um, up to the mouth of the river from probably from this bridge here in Rogersville and see if we can't get on some either crappies or walleye. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to it here. We'll be back on as soon as we get a fish on. Go ahead and do us a favor, hit that like button, share, subscribe. And we will see you next time when we're out on the water. Should have a couple videos this week. So just stay tuned for that. And uh, we will see you next time with the fish on. Take care. God bless. So what I'm going to be fishing with today. We've got this uh, Abu Garcia Major League Fishing. He is the uh, brand. And it is a 5-1-1 gear ratio. I'm gonna start off with throwing this green and white here, the chartreuse and white, Bobby Garland on an eighth ounce jig head. Now I did mark some fish in front of me, so I'm just sort of gonna throw out there, it is about 16 foot deep out there, so I'm gonna fish, fish out, and then just sort of work this thing back to me here. See if I can't locate them. Um, I did mark something out there, and I'm about six foot deep right here uh, where I'm currently drifting at and we do have a west wind today which is typically I like to fish a west wind I don't really like it because I don't have a rudder on right now and I might have to I might have to rethink this mess Let's see here. we'll see pull that down but uh, put me afloat on this time because I don't want to lose no more reels. My son, he flipped his kayak last week and that's exactly what happened. We lost a, a brand new rod and reel that I had just purchased. So I'm gonna cast back up there where I saw fish running around. Just kind of let that sit down and then I'll just slowly retrieve it back to me. Colder weather, um, water temperature is about 49 degrees right now. So we are a little colder weather, colder water. And, you know, we just want to make sure that uh, we, we don't get in no too big of a hurry. I may just actually sit there and let that thing drift since, uh, since I'm, the wind's just sort of pulling me. Kind of let it bounce off the bottom a little bit and then I'll just slowly retrieve it back. And uh, the key right now is finding the fish. And then once I find them, then I'll mark, I'll mark my spot. And then, you know, that way I can just sort of sit on them and see what happens. So we're just kind of letting it drift as I drift here. Down right now, like I said, I am marking fish. I'm marking them all the way on the bottom, which is 16, 17 foot deep. And then I'm marking some up about uh, four foot deep as well. So that may be where the crappie are. Just have to see see what we got here, and just uh, keep fishing for them, and then hopefully we'll get on some, and then we can go from there. Anyway, stay tuned, and we'll be back as soon as we get one on here, guys. Thank you. All right, guys, fish on here. I found them. Oh, that looks like a bass. Sure enough. Realize it's gonna get a bass in here. Let me get that down here. Wow. Me. There he is, folks. <laughs> we got us a bass. Can you see? I don't know if you can see him or not, because this sun is like a mess, but there he is. I'm gonna measure him. He's not real big, but We'll just see if he would be a, you know, a keeper size or something if we were turning him. If I can reach, 
Eleven and a half. Crap. Well, that ain't gonna work. All right, well, y'all saw that whole thing. I'll edit some of that out. That's uh, 11 and a half inches. Not gonna go home with us. Of course, that is a bass, so that's fine. All right, guys, fish on. All right, so the skunk is off the board. Um, I guess you could say, even though that was not a keeper. Um, skunk's definitely off the board. So, I hate that I cannot show you guys the hook sets. That drives me absolute bonkers because those hook sets are so fun to watch. Uh, I don't have a GoPro right now. Um, I'm just not to that point. Oh, I just got hit again. Maybe I can get something this time, you know. But, uh, you know, those hook sets are so awesome to see but it just, you know, by now it's gonna be almost impossible. I could probably turn this camera around like this and I can show you, like here's what I'm throwing into. So I'm throwing back up close to the bank, I'll let it set just a second, and then I'm reeling back. Of course now right here I'm just three point eight foot of water but that's where I was at just a few minutes ago when I got that bass on beautiful views back here you can see how low uh, Cherokee Lake is right now oh that was a hit well, the water's cold I'm trying not to be super aggressive with it we did just get pecked so Let's see if we can get back up there and it'll pack her again. See what I'm throwing right there. It's not that deep right there. It's close to the bank, so I'm just going to go ahead and start retrieving it back. I'm just retrieving it real slow. Let's see. Let's see. Might be rocks or something. Yeah, okay, so I got hung up there. It looks like there might be something on there, so we'll just go right up here to it. It's the great thing again about being in a yak. You can see I'm on the lure here, the lure 11.5. It does shift left to right a little bit when you paddle. But I've got all my scupper plugs in today. I made sure that I put them in super, super tight as I could. And it must be a tree or something. Yeah. Rock. I don't know what that is. But, uh, huh. that's only, that's like two foot deep right here. I'm gonna have to play with this, so guys, I'll be back. But what I was saying is, definitely gonna need a rudder on this. Now, I do have my scuppers in here, and right now, the only water that's in this yak is off my boots when I entered into it off the bank. When I launched in from the bank, um, just the water that run off my boots. Right now I'm bone dry. Last last week I did not have, I guess my scuppers in right and I got about two inches in the back underneath my seat, got my butt wet. But um, I called the dealer where I got the yak. I told him, I said, look, I'm not about to be uh, sinking again, you know. So what, what what do we need to do? Do I need a, do I need a boat that'll hold more weight? You know, I'm on something freaking good here. I mean, let's see. Wow. So we're going to have to break off. We'll call this part of the video shenanigans. Because that's what we're running into right now. Shenanigans. And I'm one of them people that is stubborn as a mule. So I'm going to try to get this off here. So guys, I'll cut the video off and I'll be back with the rest of it and then we'll go from there so anyway I was hung right and uh, lo and behold here if I did not get that loose sometimes you just got to work and work and work and uh,
Everything good? Huh? You all right? I can't believe I got that loose. I don't know what it was hung on, but it was a mess. Oh, shoot. Here we are fishing for crappie when we catch two largemouth bass. Is that crazy? Fish on, guys. There we go. Another blasted bass. That'd be great if I was fishing for bass today, but I'm not fishing for bass. Apparently, I'm a bass fisherman. <laughs> that might be the same one I caught a while ago. <laughs> I don't think he's quite 12 inches, but we're going to always measure and see. Just my little game warden will stop by right in the middle of the process and say, hey, sonny, what are you doing with that illegal fish, right? I'm just kidding. They don't do that. Let's see. I love having this catch board. All right, so this one here is 10, 10 and 3 quarters of an inch, so just just under 11 so he's small baby put him back in the water there all right guys another dink in the boat this could be a dink day dink little holiday but i've had people tell me oh you can't catch bass in the winter yes you can it is on all right guys here we're wrapping it up we're uh, on cherokee lake here and we're about to paddle back in. We got those three bass. Um, we're gonna keep bringing you guys fresh live content. We're just about 10 people away from our reaching our first 100. And so if you guys don't mind to share this out there, encourage your friends to help us out. We're gonna do a giveaway. Uh, we're gonna get some baits. It's coming up Christmas time, so it'll be the perfect time to get a gift out to you guys. Absolutely love the uh, lure. Uh, no water inside today. Last week we got about uh, two inches behind my butt and I was soaking wet. Definitely don't want to be soaking wet when it's cold like it is today. Uh, eight mile an hour winds blowing. I am a little bit chilly right now, so tomorrow when we come out um, for our Sunday uh, fish, I'm definitely going to uh, put two layers, maybe three layers of pants on for sure, uh, just so we can stay warm, maybe another pair of socks. Now these boots that I've got on, they say that they'll keep your feet warm in minus 42 degree weather. I think that's bull crap uh, because my feet are a little bit cold right now. I do have uh, just some ankle socks on. Of course, there's like a sleeve inside these boots that my feet set in. But uh, I do think that's kind of baloney. And um, they were just some cheap boots that I got from Walmart anyway. So what can you expect? You know, it's Walmart. So we're going to go ahead and paddle back in here. We're not that far out. Beautiful, beautiful day here. Cold, chilly. Nevertheless, we got out here, we got the fish. Uh, didn't get skunked today, we got three fish total. Would, would rather have had some crappie, but uh, who knows what tomorrow will bring. We got to get out here anyway and enjoy this. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, as I said, help us get to that first hundred. We're gonna do a giveaway once we do that. Probably have the giveaway sometime uh, in January to kick off the new year. And uh, we'll be back again with some more content here in, a few days and uh we'll see you guys next time fish on